announcement that uh, Lindy has signed a contract extension. Exciting for your group, knowing what he's been able to do. What does it, you know, mean to you to see him back again? Yeah, obviously positive. I think uh, well deserved. I think what he's done with us, with that group. Uh, um, I think we appreciate that as well. So uh, uh, we congratulate him, obviously, and uh, but I think uh, he he wants to get going too. That's all. Of them. All he's thinking to a little bit right now, so uh, we're, we're ready for tomorrow. What did, what did he sort of do with this group when he came in to be able to get you guys to this point? I think just his experience helped a lot. Uh, he, I mean, he's been around for so long, and uh, it's something uh, we needed. And uh, he's been really patient with us, and uh, obviously that was a good thing. And uh, the way it turned turned out uh, was the right thing to do. And I think he he. Uh, see certain aspects of the game uh, differently and it was able to give us uh, some good inputs we can work on and uh, he still do, does it so uh, obviously uh, good for him. You talk about the patience that he's had but really after like April 2022 he challenged you guys to come back better and put together better performances. What is it about him that it, you guys respond to so much? Um, just because he's been fair to us the whole time I think uh, it's a coach you want to play for, and uh, I think uh, you see that on the ice. And uh, yeah, like like I said, he he had patience with us. He did the right things with us. Uh, he pressed the right button with us. So uh, just excited to keep working with him. Excited to get the season started tomorrow. Enough preseason. Hundred percent. Yes. Can I ask you? Um, we're trying to figure out what to call the two power play units. How are you guys talking about them? Because it's hard to say one is a first and one is a second unit or anything like that. We didn't. We don't even talk well, about like it. Well, like when Lindy says who's going out there, does he just say like, Nico, you guys, or what? Oh, how does? It? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Probably uh, centers. Yeah, tracking okay. me. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Nico. Thanks, Nico. They announced that, uh, or the team announced that Lindy is coming back with a multi-year contract extension. I'm wondering when you go back to when he first arrived here, what were your impressions of him, and how has he been able to push all the right buttons with you guys? Oh, I think he's been obviously great for us. Um, He's been here from kind of the start when this kind of team started turning things around. And uh, I mean, obviously, we're excited for his extension. We, he's been, as I said, part of this journey for a long time. And he, he kind of, um, we're the ones who obviously set the foundation for the whole team, how, how all of this started. And uh, I mean, he was such a huge part of the success we had last year. And uh, I think us players just trusting in, trusting in his system to, to the way to play. And, uh, he's been extremely fair and um, hard on us for, for the right reasons to, to get better. And uh, I mean, it feels like he, he's still in that, um, that when he wants to get um, better every day, same with us. So he sets, uh, sets the standards high every day, which, uh, which we love about him, and uh, that's because of our success. You talk about him being fair, and I think that that's probably one of the things. I mean, Nico mentioned it as well. What does it mean as a coach to be fair? Well, it's, it's kind of how you, how you take take every single day uh, I mean he's he's extremely hard on us he's put puts high expectations on it every day in practice and uh, every day at game it doesn't matter how uh, how yesterday was you you come into the next day with with the with the right mindset and uh, you do the right things and um, if we don't don't play the right way then we're gonna hear about it and we're gonna learn from it and get better is that when he's the toughest on you like how do you sort of feel he is in that in that regard you know, obviously he's same as us as, as guys we, we put high expectation on ourselves and we we want to be we want to be perfect out there and um, do the best we can and uh, obviously us as player we put pressure on ourselves and he puts pressure on us too so uh, it works works well together did you feel that in April 2022 that he really challenged you guys that you know enough was enough it's time to take that next step and how did he maybe do that yeah obviously we, we as a team and as individuals together with Lindy always had a great Communication. I mean, the the conversations. Uh, if I speak for myself, with Lindy has always been great. Uh, he always puts high expectations on you, and uh, he wants you to get better. And he he challenges you to get better too. And he he tells you what you need to improve on, and and all that stuff. So, conversations that way has has always been great. So, uh, that's kind of where um, the things I talked about him being fair and and, and honest, and um, all he wants is the team to have success, and that. Uh, that means you have to be hard on guys sometimes. Ready to get going tomorrow? Yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Roderick. He's agreed to a contract extension. I'm wondering when you think about him coming in when he did, 
what the biggest change for you guys what has been under his um, guidance? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think, uh, you know, <laughs> I think I've always been a big fan of Lindy, so, uh, you know, really happy for him that he's coming back, and obviously, uh, we have our we have our core group of players together too, so it's nice that we get to move forward with Lindy for a couple more years. Uh, so, really excited for him, and you know, uh, yeah. In what way has he challenged you as a player to get better? Every way, I think. I think he just, you know, he came in here and he, you know, he uh, just told me to, you know, he kind of just let me run. You know, he didn't really. You know, uh, he was just like, man, like, I think you can be a special player. And so, I, like, I, you know, I like how I feel about Lindy. So I'm uh, really excited for him, really happy for him. And, you know, I think that just for me, he's just allowed me to develop as a player and, you know, just allow me to be me. And that's that's the best part about Lindy uh, in my case. You know, he's just he's just allowed me to, you know, be myself and he's empowered me and, at the same time, he's coached me hard, but, uh, you know, he's just been the guy that's gotten me gotten me where, I've, where I'm at in my career now, you know, so I've uh, got a lot of respect for him. Jack, what's the atmosphere around this team on the eve of the season this year compared to last year? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, last year is another one of those, like, iffy years, you know, we just, like, I think we were rolling in, hoping to, uh, like, you know, we were aspiring to make playoffs. And, like, every team in the league says that. But you, you don't really know until you get there. So, you know, now we had a we had a really good year last year. But I think we're a much more, like, motivated group and, you know, hungrier group and uh, just a lot more, like, not expectations, but, you know, expectations inside this locker room where, we understand what we need to do now, and you know we're a much more experienced team, and you know we're no no we're no longer a team that's you know just the young devils. We're now a competing and a, and a cont contending team, so uh, really exciting. Where's the hunger, the extra hunger and motivation come from compared to last year? Yeah, it comes from uh, probably just being naive last year in terms of like we're like oh yeah we want to make playoffs, but when, you you have no clue like I. I would say uh, you want, I want to make playoffs, but I never played in the playoffs. What do I know what the playoffs are like? You know, so now you get, you get a taste of that, and you feel what it's like to be a winning team. You feel what it's like to go on streaks and runs, and it's like that's you're more hungry, and you just you understand how hard it is. But you know, once you get there, you just want more of it. Jack, what is Tyler Toffoli's game? Like, what part of it allows him to fit so well with, with you and Jesper on offense? Yeah, like I hate to uh, like I hate to buy into it too much just because it's uh, preseason, you know, so uh, I think we all know what kind of player he is. I mean, he led a team in scoring last year with 70-something points, so obviously we understand the kind of player we were bringing in when we brought him in, but, you know, he's fit in really well with me and Bradder, so just a lot of uh, a lot of hockey sense in that line, and uh, I'd like to think that our, our chemistry would just keep, keep getting better, but... Uh, I think we got to play the right way, so so Lindy keeps us together too. Jack, did you see what Wayne Gretzky said about you? Yeah, I did. Uh, I, I thought he. I think that was a rerun, though. No. Uh, I, it, I think it was fresh, right? I don't even know, but pretty cool. Just uh, it's a great one, you know. So I think that's uh, for me, like definitely one of the higher compliments I can get. He also said that the team reminded them a little bit of the. Not eighty Oilers. I mean, when you hear something like that, what is what does that register for, for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, I wasn't born then, so I can't sit here and <laughs> relive the glory days with you. But um, yeah, like I know, obviously they're like one of the most special like dynasties in uh, hockey. So, but yeah, we got a lot of work to do. We're just focused on uh, game one tomorrow night. So it's been a long time, a lot of talking, long time waiting for it and you know I think we're really excited. You never YouTube those guys over the years or dug into the No, I mean I know it's up tapes. but I know it's up but that's a lot of yeah. a lot of cups, you know, so we'll see. Jack, can you maybe give is it possible to give us an example of how Lindy has evolved as a coach 
I mean, as a player, he had that old school mentality, but he's had to evolve as a coach with younger players. Do you have a, an example or something you can share? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's hard. It's hard for me to just um, say something because you know I didn't have him in Buffalo and I didn't have him in Dallas. So um, I think if you ask those guys, they might have a different uh, like sense of how he coached back then. But you know, with us, he's always been. Uh, you know, wanting to be a fast team, all about skill, speed, be up in the rush, and, you know, uh, maybe the first couple of years it didn't work out, but that's more of like a personnel thing, you know, and we brought the personnel in that uh, in terms of the style he wants to play, and that's a fast team with skilled forwards and D that get up the ice, so um, I don't know. I mean, I think he might have, I, I can't sit here and say how he's changed, but I know he's been good for our group. Thank you, Thanks, Jack. Congratulations. Um, just wondering how meaningful it is to you to be able to continue on with this group and all, you know get to a point where you can finish what you've started here. Uh, well, obviously humbled by the opportunity and uh, excited about where the group's at and where we can go. And uh, you know, I really like where where the team is at and just want to continue. When you consider day one that you were here to where you guys are now, going into your first game of the season. What's the biggest area of growth other than experience? Well, really, the, just the development of, of young players, um, you know, where they're at and where we've got them to. I know this lineup is a lot different than, than year one, but if you want to look at some of the key pieces and, and where they're at and, and the type of year that all those guys had last year, it, it's been the biggest uh, improvement of, of all. We always want to get better in whatever job we do. How has this group and this experience helped you get better as a coach? You know, I just again, it's it's communicating and dealing with players, uh, dealing with young players, uh, uh, dealing with the veteran players. I think it it helps anyone grow um, in understanding where where they're coming from. One of the things that Jack said is that he most appreciates about you being his coach is from the day from day one, you let him be who he is. How important was that to sort of release Jack into where he is right now? Uh, well, I think it's it's important for for a young player to know that. His gift is is something that you got to let him execute at, you know, at his pace and at his speed, and, and he sees things a lot different, uh, probably than anybody else sees it. Um, you got to understand that you have to live with some mistakes as a coach. I think that's where we were. I think he also understands now that uh, there's a time and a place for for some of his special skills. Like one of the amazing things for 30 straight years, you've been behind the bench. 30 straight years. Um, do, how, do, how do you feel? That you, is amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. Is it? Anyway, uh, how, how do you think you've kind of evolved as a coach to, to, you know, with the game the way it is with the younger generation of players coming up? You, you were an old school player, coach, and now you've had to evolve to this. Yeah, you know, the coaching is so much different than, you, than year one. I, and I think the... Again, I'll, I'll only bring up the the understanding, communicating, and, and listening to the players. That um, you basically have a you have a partnership with them now. Uh, they have to understand what you know, you're trying to do with your coaching staff, and we have to understand a lot of times where they're coming from. Uh, in dealing with the, those type of players today is 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 a challenge. But I think that if you have the ability to listen and communicate with them. Uh, which I think that that has come a long ways from my day one of coaching. Um, yeah, both individuals can grow. When did you sort of see that shift amongst players and coach in that relationship over the course of your you know, career? I, you know, I think the, the shift started after the lockout, like 05, 06, where the type of team we had, the, the type of players we had, knowing that, you know, we maybe weren't going to be the best defensive team, but, man, could we... Could we skate? Could we produce offense? And um, you know, the shift was then that understanding that we had a lot of guys that could could play the game probably a different way than we'd played it previously. And with most teams, you have to evaluate what you have and, and play to that strength. What do you think about all the teams that you've coached into this season? Where does this one rank in terms of talent? Uh, it ranks right up there. Um, you know, I think the coming out of lockout in you know five oh six, uh, you know those that the teams we had there where we went back to back, 
I think back to back over 50 wins. Uh, we're right in that category. I mean, the the team feels the same. The depth of the lineup feels the same. The speed on the back end, uh, I liken to what we had back then. So it's right there at the top. Will, will Eric be ready for tomorrow? Eric uh, felt better, skated. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see, you know, how he made up. Are you are you able to reveal how many years multi years is? I, I don't really get into the detail uh, when it comes to dealing with my contract. When you look at um, you're talking about Eric, there you've put. Um, him with Palat and Holtz. What are you hoping to sort of see from that combination, particularly Holtz in that area? I'm looking at two veteran guys who can help a young player. Um, you know, we've got a guy that is a Stanley Cup champion that knows what it takes. I think uh, he's probably one of our best two-way players we have, can play under the gun in any situation, and he can himself can help Alex Bro. On a similar vein um, with, with Brendan Smith, Cues, how can how can Brendan complement Luke back there? Do you think? Well, a, a veteran guy. He, uh, Brendan's had a good camp. Um, he was a big part of uh, the reason we finished where we finished. Um, and when you look at <clears throat> of a, a combination of you know a younger guy with a veteran guy, it's usually a combination that uh, can work for you. Do you balance out your power play at least attempt to attempt to? You have Dougie on one unit, Luke on the other. They can't play together, I guess they could briefly. But what was the decision making? What goes into who's with whom? Where do they aid their particular units? Well, we're really looking at, we've talked since day one about having two units. And so we've tried to complement, put all of the pieces we have in the best possible situation to to succeed. And I think if you look at uh, the way power play is has gone through preseason. Uh, you know, I think we're on the right track. That doesn't mean that the odd times some of those pieces won't uh, won't change. Lindy, did you happen to see what Wayne Gretzky said about Jack? I did not. No. Compared him to to him. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne and I came in the league at the same time, and I ended up 35 point, 3,500 points behind him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs>